Welcome to Health Coach for Women, a podcast where we explore alternative and holistic solutions to better health and wellness through intentional living. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Welcome back to another episode of Health Coach for Women, a podcast where we explore alternative and holistic solutions to better health and wellness. And I'm your host, Marsha. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. And I want to also say that I appreciate all of you who have been uh, giving me and providing me support. Um, Today's topic, hmm, eat. That's today's topic. I want to talk about that. But before we get started, of course, I would like for you to go ahead and hit that like button, share and subscribe. And of course, I always have a quote related to the topic, right? So healthy feet can feel the very heart of Mother Earth. That is by Sitting Bull. Have you ever heard of Sitting Bull? He is one of the indigenous people of the Americas, right? Or what the people, some people say Native American. Uh, Sitting Bull made that quote, healthy feet can feel the heart of Mother Earth. Remember I talked about grounding and what it does, right? Connecting with the earth. That's a real thing, guys. You should try that. All right. So I love that quote by Sitting Bull. Now I want to get into today's topic, right? Healthy feet healthy life, the connection between foot care and overall health. So why are feet so important? Why is feet so important? Think about it. The feet, your feet is your foundation, right? Your feet is your foundation for stance, for, and for, it controls everything else in your body, right? If you had no feet, you would have no balance, right? With no feet, you have no balance. Feet is the foundation for your entire body. Feet bears all of the weight when we walk, when we stand, when we go down the stairs, right? Feet is doing its job. Well, what happens when our feet is not properly aligned, we have different feet conditions, or we're on our feet too long, right? We experience pain, right? Pain in our feet, maybe even pain in the ankles, pain in our knees and hips. A lot of it is related to our feet. So that's why I want to talk about today's topic on feet. All right. So, you know, I want to talk about the anatomy of feet, right? Let's talk about the anatomy of feet. First of all, how many joints are actually in the feet? Let's talk about that, all right? So we know our feet consist of 26 bones and 33 joints. And it also contains more than 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments. So having healthy feet is crucial for proper posture, as I mentioned, balance and overall mobility, right? Uh, and, And when we don't have proper alignment with our feet, um, it, it causes us to have pain, right? Pain in our feet, nip, uh, uh, knees, joints, and other areas that I mentioned, right? So what are some foot conditions? What are some foot conditions? I have one of them, flat feet, right? Flat feet. So flat feet can occur when the arches uh, of the feet collapse, leading to an almost complete contact of the foot on the ground. That's me. I have flat feet. So this condition can cause pain in the feet, ankles, hips, and lower back. Did you know that, guys? Or you flat footers like myself, <laughs> right? So it's important. I actually I actually have those uh, orthopedic foot insoles, right? That's supposed to help you, right? I'm not going to lie. I don't wear them. But I know that I should, right? So don't judge me. I know that I should. But they're so big and bulky, I would have to get an extra size. And Lord, I don't want to look like I'm wearing boats. So I would rather just wear them in the house, (laughs) okay? But anyway, 
So if you have the condition of flat feet, um, you know, it can lead to over, uh, over pronation where the foot rolls inward excessively, disrupting the body alignment. Remember, I talked about that. So there's uh, things that you can do, right, for that. And I'm going to get into all of that. But right now, I'm just going to get discuss some of the conditions, foot conditions that we can experience. Um, plantar fasciitis, right? This is what does itis, right? Anything that I, ends with I-T-I-S, inflammation, right? So plantar fasciitis, the condition is caused by inflammation of the plantar fascia. Uh, it's a thick band of tissue that runs across the bottom of the foot and it leads to sharp heel pain, uh, particularly in the morning after long periods of standing, right? Uh, bunions are another one. These are the bunion, uh, bunions, uh, they are the bony bumps that form at the joint, at the base of the big toe. So it's on that side of the big toe. You, you will notice that you'll see models, some models, uh, a lot of models have that because sometimes they're wearing shoes that's too small for their feet. I don't know why anyone would torture a model to wear shoes that's too small for their feet anyway. But a thick band of tissue that runs across the bottom of the feet Foot, and it leads to sharp pain, especially in the morning after long periods of standing. I mentioned that already. All right, bunions. All right, I, I skipped that. I'm losing my spot here. Hold on. Okay, bunions. That's plantar fasciitis. Bunions are the bony bumps that form in the joint at the base of the big toe. They can cause significant pain and lead to difficulty wearing shoes. This is where I say you'll see some models still have bunions, right? Because they're wearing shoes that's too small for them. Anyway, heel spurs. Heel spurs are bony growth at the underside of the heel bone, often associated with plantar fasciitis. They can cause heel pain and discomfort. Feet pain, any type of feet pain is terrible, right? Because when your feet hurt, you're just, you're just a mess. You don't want to be on your feet. You know, you, I see people when they're in heels, even when you hear, wear those high heels and if you don't have that support because you're actually literally on the balls of your feet, you know? You ever see when the girls, when they go out or they go somewhere and they're on their feet for long periods of time in those high heel shoes, after a while they take them off, right? Especially from being in a club and partying. And when the night is over, they're holding their shoes in their hands. They're, they're done. Their feet are done. All right. Arthritis. Arthritis in the feet can cause joint pain, swelling, and stiffness, leading to decreased mobility and overall discomfort. Any type of feet pain is awful, whether they, whatever they are, whether they're flat feet, heel spurs, arthritis, whatever. So these conditions, uh, if left untreated, can lead to a cascade of problems throughout your body. Uh, joint pain, as I mentioned, is one of them, right? Poor feet health can cause misalignment in the ankles, knees, hips, and lower back, leading to chronic pain and discomfort, right? And so for me, I get, I go to the chiropractor as well. So uh, I have a membership with the joint chiropractic and I go there every now and then when I need like a, an alignment in my spine, with my feet, just to make sure I'm in properly aligned, right? Because, you know, we're doing so many different things. We're on our feet all the time. And sometimes due to poor posture, all of these things can affect our body, right? So poor posture, compensating for foot pain often results in, so this can result in poor posture, right? Which can cause headaches, back pain, back pain and even fatigue, even fatigue. Wow. Reduce mobility, Foot pain can limit your ability to exercise and stay active, leading to weight gain and other health issues, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. Now, particularly diabetics, right? You really need to make sure you're paying attention and taking care of your feet. So many diabetics you see where they have to have their foot amputated or leg, leg amputated. Diabetics, diabetics particularly need to make sure they are taking care of their feet. It's important, okay, making sure that you you're that you don't get any cuts, um, making sure that you're paying attention to the proper foot care, 
checking your skin, your condition. You need to be doing your self checks and particularly, particularly for diabetics, but just anyone in general, right? Because some people may have diabetes and may not even be aware that they have it. So it's important to pay attention to your feet. To your feet. I talk about body awareness, right? Paying attention to our body, paying attention to the signs that our bodies is telling us, right? If you're getting shoulder pain, if you're getting knee pain, right? Something is going on. Something is out of whack. Maybe you're putting too much stress on the shoulder, too much stress on the knees, right? Maybe you have arthritis, right? We need to pay attention to that. So we need to be very mindful and pay attention, all right? If you are struggling with health issues like chronic pain, being held back by past traumas, or feeling overwhelmed and hopeless, please know there is hope. There is help. Transcendence, a woman's guide to healing and self-love for better health, happiness, and abundance is a blueprint to help you get your life back and reclaim your health. Within its pages, you'll learn how to elevate your existence by shifting your mindset toward the positive, focusing your energy on what's really important, using gratitude to feel deep appreciation, changing your gene expression through epigenetics, building resilience, and living in a state of flow. Feeling love overflow within. Go beyond an ordinary life. Transcend. Buy it now. So, all right, so I talked about those things. Now, what are some things that we can do? Uh, what are some things that we can do to uh, lessen the pain and improve our foot, uh, improve our foot balance and posture, right? There are exercises that we can do. Uh, some of those exercises include toe curls, right? Toe curls with your feet flat on the floor, right? And you place a towel on the floor and use your toes to scrunch it towards you. So it's just when you, you're just squeezing your toes to you, just squeezing it, you're bending them, right? And you repeat that for 10 to 15 repetitions to strengthen your arches, okay? And that particularly is for people who have flat feet. So toe curls can help improve uh, help help with strengthening strengthening your arches. Calf raises, calf raises. Now you calf raises. You stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Slowly rise onto your toes and hold for a few seconds, and then lower back down. Also with this, you will repeat for ten to fifteen repetitions to strengthen your calf muscles and improve your balance. Ankle circles, ankle circles. Now this one, you sit or stand with one leg lifted and you just rotate your ankle in a circular motion going right. And as I'm saying this, you can't see me now, my feet, but as I'm speaking, I'm doing this. I'm rotating my feet in a circular motion and then I'm rotating it back to the left, making 10 circles in each direction, right? And this helps with ankle flexibility as well as strength, arch lifts. Stand with your feet flat on the floor. Lift the arches of your feet while keeping the toes and heels off the ground. So that's basically where you will be pretty much like on the balls of your feet and hold for a few seconds and release. Again, you would do this for 10 to 15 seconds to strengthen the arches. All right, marble marker. Now, I never heard of marble marker. Now, this is the way you place a few marbles on the floor and use your toes to pick them up in place and place them in a bowl. Oh, wow. All right. This exercise can improve dexterity and strengthen your toes. Interesting. So I want to go back now. I want to go back to particularly people who are diabetics and foot care. I want to go over that for a moment. So why do diabetics particularly have suffered from various foot problems, okay? Um, high blood sugar levels uh, can affect this, right? Having high blood sugar levels. So diabetics can have foot problems over time due to the nerve and blood vessel damage that's happening, and which can lead to a number of issues. So I'm going to go over some of them here, and I have a list here. 
poor circulation. So high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels, which can reduce the flow of the feet, the flow, the blood flow to the feet. I'm sorry. This can weaken the skin. Remember, the skin is the biggest organ, largest organ of our, uh, on our bodies, right? The skin. So we can weaken the skin, make it harder for wounds to heal. That's why it's harder for diabetics. For when they have wounds or cuts or anything, it's harder for them to heal. And this can increase the risk of infections. So it's that's why it's important to monitor really don't neglect your health to monitor your blood sugar levels. Monitor your uh, your intake with your sugars, right? Making sure that you take the appropriate things as you, that you need to take, you know, your medicine or whatever, or doing the right thing as far as your diet, ma making sure that you're on it with your diet, right? All of these things pay a, play a part. So poor, again, poor circulation, leads to high blood sugar levels that can damage the blood vessels, right? Which is reduces the blood flow. Remember, the blood is all the way down here. The blood has to go through and circulate through the whole body, right? It has to circulate through the whole body. Nerve damage, which is also known as diabetic neuropathy. Now, this can cause numbness, tingling pain, or, or, or loss of feeling in the feet. Um, now, people with diabetic neuropathy may feel sharp objects in their shoes that can puncture the skin and can cause ulcers. They may also not realize it. See, they may not even realize, and listen to what it's saying, they may not realize that they have minor cuts or blisters, which can lead to ulcers. So diabetics particularly, you should be paying attention to your feet daily, Okay. And if you want to like to walk around the house bare feet, just make sure that you are mindful, right? You could have little things on the floor. Maybe there's a little piece, maybe you broke a glass and there's a broken piece of glass somewhere, or maybe the kids left something sharp. I don't know, whatever. Pay attention to these things because you need to make sure you check your skin daily. All right, you need to make sure it's so important to make sure that you, because you may have a cut and you may not even know it. Right. I myself, I'm not diabetic, but I find myself sometimes with a little cut somewhere or a little nick or bruise. I bruise easily. Like what in the hell? Where did this bruise come from? I have no idea. Right. So dry skin. Right. Dry skin is another issue. So and this is called autonomic neuropathy. Which can affect body functions like sweating and can lead to dry skin. That's why they have, they even have diabetic lotions that you can use, special lotions for dry skin for particularly made for people with diabetes, okay? Calluses. Calluses can uh, build up faster and more often on the feet with people with diabetes especially in the areas under high pressure. And if left untrimmed, calluses can break down and turn into ulcers, which we do not want. Weakened muscles, nerve damage, okay? Nerve damage can weaken muscles in the feet, which can lead to problems like hematose, claw feet, and pes cavus. And I've never heard of that. Has cows. I have to look into that. I never heard of that one. I heard of the other ones. All right. So it is so important that we take care of our feet, right? And many people with diabetes have peripheral artery disease, again, which that reduces the blood flow to the feet. So we definitely need to make sure that we are paying attention to our feet, especially people with diabetes, right? So I just wanted to go over that. Uh, foot conditions that people can experience. And it can be very dangerous. It can be very bad where you can get an ulcer. You can get a very bad infection where it's so bad that they can't do anything to save the foot. And you have to get either your toes cut off or the foot itself. Um, there's so many different conditions of the skin that you can get. So Remember to make sure you pay attention to your feet. 
And those of you with flat feet like myself, make sure that you're wearing your arches, you're doing your foot exercises, right? To strengthen the arches uh, and strengthen your feet. All right, all of that is important. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really wanted to just talk about feet because it's the foundation uh, for our body, right? And then when our feet is off and our feet is in pain, it can throw everything else off, right? So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this episode on feet, right? Um, but until next time, now, if you haven't checked out my past episodes, right? Last week, you know, I talked about the Okinawan diet. I talked about being an, in alignment. If you missed those episodes, go back and check them out. Share, like, share your comments, reach out to me. If you have any questions or concerns about anything pertaining to health and wellness, hey, reach out and I will do the best to help you as much as I can. Until next time, remember, stay healthy, stay well, pay attention, and also be present. Be mindful, be present, and get your feet out and connect with the earth, right? Rounding, do some earthing and some grounding, right? Maybe I should have touched on that some more too. Do some grounding. Plant your feet on the soil, on the earth. Remember, there's an energy exchange. There's atoms, right? We are electrical, right? And the earth has energy. And in the earth, it's like a, it's like a battery charge, right? It's like a battery charge when we plant our feet on the earth. Are we getting those electrical atoms and protons and all of that? There's energy exchange there, which helps us. We absorb the energy um, from the earth. All right. That is all I have for now. Until next time. Bye for now. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Health Coach for Women with Marsha Rupchan Walker. If you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next episode.